usually we at least get a thorough look at you, other than John in the audience. In compliance uh, with Chapter 231 of the Open Public Meeting Act of the State of New Jersey, <clears throat> adequate notice have been given to all members of the governing body, the local source, and the Westfield leader. The two newspapers designated to receive such notice. This notice is also posted on the Borough Hall bulletin board. It's there for an invocation from Councilwoman Ong. Gracious God, thank you for giving us another wonderful day. As we stand before you today in awe of your magnificent glory, we thank you for bringing us together as a community tonight. We ask that you continue to protect our community, policemen, firemen, rescue squad, friends, and family and give this council the help to assist us in continuing to strengthen our community with your blessings, grace, and guidance. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Martha, roll call, please. Councilwoman Andre? Here. Councilman Lane? Here. Councilman Messler is absent. Councilman Mortimer? Here. Councilman Turner? Here. Councilman Watson? Here. We have the approval of minutes for the reorganization of January 3rd, 2012. <coughs> so moved. Second. Call the council, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Watson? Yes. Uh, we also have the approval of the minutes for the work and the executive session um, uh, meeting on January 10th, 2012. So moved. Second. Call the council, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. Uh, next, we have our resolution. Let's start with resolution 24, 2012. Jeff? This resolution renews the Burroughs Health Inspection Service contract with the Westfield Regional Board of Health for the 2012 budget year in the amount of $35,251. The shared service contract is an increase of $167 over last year. We have a motion, we have a second. Second. Call the council, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. Next, we have Resolution 25-2012. Glenn? This resolution approves the transfer of certain budgetary funds as allowed by law within the first three months of the year within the 2011 Municipal Budget Reserves under NJSA 40A, colon 4-58, as recommended by our CFO, Jill Good. We have a motion. We have a second. Second. Call the council, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Watt. Yes. Uh, next, we have Resolution 26, 2012. Keith, you want to take that, please? Resolution 26, 2012, as required by the Borough Self-Insurance Regulations, this resolution will authorize the Valley Health Medical Group of Paramus, New Jersey, to conduct random drug and alcohol testing of the CDL drivers employed by the borough at a rate of $66 per CDL holder. Uh, that was the uh, same rate as 2011. There was no increase. So move. Second. second. Double second. Pull the council. <laughs> Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yep. Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Walsh? Yes. Next, we have Resolution 27, 2012. Keep. 27, 2012 is a resolution <laughs> that will confirm the appointment of Councilman Messler to the Union County Transportation Advisory Board and Mike Disco Jr. as his alternate for a term to expire December 31st, 2012. So moved. Second. Call the council, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. Next, we have Resolution 28, 2010. Deanna? Having the need to cancel recreation Zumba class, this resolution will authorize the borough's treasurer to make refunds to the following res registrants. J. Gentile for $40, M. Smith for $40, A. Verniero, $126, J. Yanus, $108. Second. Poll Council. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. 
Next, we have Resolution 29-2010. Bill. Having a vacancy in the Construction Board of Appeals, this resolution will appoint Gary Cantagallo as an alternate member for a period of one year. So a motion. We have a second. Pull the council, please. Councilman Anaza? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. Okay, moving right along. Resolution uh, uh, 30 2012. Glenn? This resolution will authorize the borough to enter into contract with a third party vendor to process payroll services for the borough as required by law. NJAC 5 30 17 .1 for electronic disbursement controls for payroll purposes. Second. We've got a motion and a second. Pull the council, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Walsh? Yes. Next, we have Resolution 31, 2012. Bill? Having just approved uh, the resolution and now at the recommendation of the borough's chief financial officer, Jill Good, this resolution approves the award of the contract for electronic payroll services to the lowest quote that being action data services in an amount not to exceed the bid threshold of $17,500 under NJSA 40A colon 11-1. Second. Call the council, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. Next, we have Resolution 32-2012. Keith? Resolution 32-2012, having received payment for tax sale certificate number 09-00062 for Block 5D, Lot 9, in the amount of $44,882, plus a premium of $9,000, the borough tax collector, Jill Good, recommends that that total amount be issued to the tax sale lien holder, which is U.S. Bank, CUST, slash SAS Muni VDTR TLSG2 MOUS <laughs> um, Philadelphia PA for the redemption and cancellation of said certificate. Second. We have a motion and a second. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Watt? Yes. Next, we have the first reading for Ordinance 1194-2012 with no public input. Deanna? An ordinance amending Chapter 10, Section 1.14, Section A and B of the Code of the Borough of Mountainside, New Jersey, regarding membership fees for the use of the Mountainside Pool. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Call the council, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Walsh? Yes. Next, we have a motion to approve the raffle application of the Mountainside Education Foundation for a 50 50 on premise draw raffle. All those in favor? Aye. None opposed, so approved. Glenn, we have some bills and claims, please. We do. Be it resolved by the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Mountainside that the following bills of the persons named and for the amount stated below have been duly audited and found to be correct the 17th day of January 2012. The same be paid after Council's review if and when funds are available, and that the Mayor, Council President, Administrator, and Treasurer are hereby authorized and directed to sign and deliver warrants for same. Total $1,649,381.97. We have a motion to pay the bills. Do we have a second? Second. Call the council, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. Any council comments? Just want to remind the residents uh, with winter upon us, uh, there is no parking on a snow-covered street. Um, it makes the, the plowed operator's jobs that much more difficult. It risks uh, damaging your vehicle, and you will be ticketed, correct, uh, Chief? Absolutely. Uh, so please, if, this, if it starts to snow, put your car in the driveway. You will be ticketed, uh, and if the car isn't moved, it will be towed. So just a, just a warning. Thank you. Thank you. Any other council comments? Seeing no audience, we'll have no audience participation. 
So I guess we need a motion to go into uh, executive, whereas the Open Public Meeting Act of the State of New Jersey permits the public to be excluded from certain matters to be discussed by the governing body, whereas the main council desire to discuss uh, litigation, contracts, or personnel, which are matters where the exclusion of the public is permitted, whereas public disclosure, the results of this discussion will be made as soon as the matters discussed have been resolved by the governing body of the Borough of Mountainside. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Mountainside that the aforesaid matter shall be discussed in closed session upon adoption of this uh, resolution, which is uh, basically litigation. So we have a motion to go into exec. Second. Letter second. second. We're going into exec. 